I tell you I am in absolute heaven right now with all of the makeup launches right now? I mean it. <laughs> For today's video, I finally got my Charlotte Tilbury beautifying face palettes in the mail. One of my favorite launches this year so far. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really stinking excited. We've known about these for a long time. I'm happy to finally have them in my hands. So I did pick up both colors. There's a fair to medium and then a medium to deep. And I'm gonna put both on my face today. I ordered these from the Charlotte Tilbury website. As they become available at more retailers, I will have those linked down below as well. But you can pick this up right now from the Charlotte Tilbury website. It looks like both of the shades are in stock. Also, what you're able to pick up from the holiday collection right now are the hypnotized eye pop shots which I didn't want them I think they're overpriced and then I saw the colors that they had so then I was like thinking twice about it but I still haven't ordered any I don't think I will I just think $34 for a single pop shade it's a bit pricey but ugh, it's painful that I can't order that anyways maybe if a sale comes up but right now I'm not ordering those. The face palettes were what I was the most excited about. So let's go ahead and get into this. Both of these palettes are $75 each. Very, very pricey, but in years past, whenever Charlotte Tilbury's launched these quads, I've always really enjoyed them and used them a lot. So well, I'm not gonna say they are worth it. I keep coming back for more, so they're worth it to me. These are new additions to the Pillow Talk line as well. So these are based around the iconic pink Pillow Talk shade that Charlotte Tilbury has every product in the color of. These are supposed to give you a blushiness, a glowiness, but you're also able to use them on the eyes as well. As of now, I am unsure if these are limited edition from the website. I can't see anything that says limited edition, but I think it's mostly TBD. <laughs> Depends how well it sells, right? But here's what the box is gonna look like. It has little Charlotte Tilbury logos all over, very cute in the classic pink packaging. And the palette itself is made in Italy on the back it's gonna give you some help on how to use the palette what each of the shades are supposed to be used for which I think is always really nice how instructional Charlotte Tilbury's products are and then here is the component itself it's very very pretty I don't if this is my favorite or not. I actually really like it because I feel like it's kind of classic with the CT logo all over it. And then here is the back of the product if you need to see. This is the fair to medium. It has an 18 month shelf life. And again, it kind of gives you some ideas of what you can do with the palette. And then are you ready? Let's show you. Turn the lights down a little bit more. So this is the fair to medium. It has a mirror and the palette is able to stand up on its own, which I really like. That's very useful in travel situations. Fair to medium. I feel like there's a little bit of pigment behind it. Let's see. And then right here is the medium to deep palette so that you can see them next to each other. So you have one soft blush formula in each, one super glow formula, one super blush formula, and then one multi glow formula available in each of the palettes. We're gonna swatch the fair medium first. So this is the soft blush, which is a cool pink matte blush. Then we'll get into the super glow, which is a warm glow highlighter. Down here is the super blush, a peak pink matte blush which has more pigment than the soft blush i think that's going to be the main difference here and then this is the multi-glow rose gold highlighter so the soft blush formula is just exactly that it seems to be quite soft and then here is the super glow highlighter very pretty then this is the super blush which has more pop and pigment to it which will be how they are in both of the palettes. And then this Multi Glow highlight is actually the same shade as the Pillow Talk Multi Glow in Romance Light from the Pillow Talk Party Collection. So I have this in an individual already. It has more base color to it. I honestly think it makes a really pretty bridge between blush and a lighter shade highlight. And I'll show you kind of how I like to do that today. Then moving into the medium deep soft blush, which is a peach rosy matte blush. Super glow is a gold highlighter. The super blush is a warm rose matte blush. And this multi glow right here. So take a look. 
It's going to have a lot more pigment on my face. I don't have any eye makeup on because I'm going to try these as eye makeup as well. So soft blush has more depth than the soft blush in the light palette. Super glow. It's a gold highlight, though I feel like it has some pink in there. Here's the super blush. This one I might have to be careful with. And then we have the multi glow, which is the same shade as the Pillow Talk multi glow in Dreamlight from the Pillow Talk Party Collection. So you can see the differences. These are the same formula. These are the same formula. Blah, a blah. <laughs> so those are the palettes. Let's see if they differ on the cheeks and how they work against my skin tone. We'll start off with the fair to medium on this side of my face. I'm gonna start off with the soft blush right here on the apple of my cheek to see if it needs any building up or anything. So this is a Sydney Grace blush brush. And it's more of a soft, very everyday friendly blush. If you're on the fair side of skin tones, I think you will really like this formulation because there is a little bit of buildability. Actually, let me turn the lights down a little bit so hopefully you can see the color a little bit more. And it's not a powdery formulation, so I don't get any kickback. So this is really soft on my skin tone. Honestly, I'd probably prefer a little bit of pigment because I'm going in pretty heavy handed and this is all it's giving me. But it's very pretty. Wiping off my brush, let's see how the super blush is. So immediately I can see the pigment on my brush. And so for my light medium skin tone, this is a formula that I'm gonna reach for a little bit more because I love blush to begin with. If you don't like blush, then we'll talk. You probably will think a little bit different. This is very pretty. It definitely has more impact and pigment, has a slightly more pink hue, whereas the soft blush has more of a muted neutral tone. But overall, with it being a Pillow Talk inspired palette, we're still very, very pink. So let's go ahead and play with the different formulas here. We're going to start off with the Multi Glow, which I very much enjoy as a highlight. I'm going to keep it back here because I think with the pinky undertone, if you have a pinky blush, it looks really pretty to lead the pinky blush into whatever highlight you're using. I really enjoy this formula. This is a fairly new formula, honestly. It just launched in the most recent months and it seems pretty consistent with the individual that I have. Maybe just a bit harder pressed, but on my skin tone, this definitely works as a highlight. If you're more on the light or fair side, this could be a nice blush topper, though it is quite metallic. And then I'm going to get into the super glow formula, which is going to give, so you can see the brightest glow in this quad right here, and a really beautiful color, definitely brightened things up over here. How pretty is that? Ooh, okay, let's try this now on the eyelids. You know, if you're paying $75 on this, let's get our money's worth, right? So we're going into the soft blush, which honestly, I can see in the future that this might eventually get hard panned. I don't know, I'm getting those vibes. It's not getting hard panned, but I feel like if you use a dirty brush, it will easily get hard panned. But I'm using this soft blush, and honestly, it's creating a really pretty soft flush on the eye which is really pretty. I was expecting to get little to nothing from this color, but I like it. And then we'll go into the darker shade, super blush, I guess is what it's called. And you can see it's giving us more vibrancy on the eyelid than the soft blush color. And this is gonna be so nice for a very monochromatic look. I'm going into the soft blush. And I have some super blush kind of mixed on the brush as well. And I'm just gonna lightly put that on the underside of my eye. Let's use the Multi Glow, just more pinky, and put that all over the lid. Now this is going to give that Charlotte Tilbury look. Charlotte Tilbury loves that glowy eyelid pretty much everywhere, and this is so pretty. I love that. I'm also just going to put it on the inner half of the lower lash line just to brighten up the eye even more and don't be afraid to blend this even higher to get that classic Charlotte Tilbury look. And then we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna go in with the lighter highlight. We're gonna focus it on the inner corner, on the brow bone, even under here a little bit more. If you want to bring it in. This is a really pretty everyday eye look, right? For something quick, wearable, 
I'm liking this palette a lot. I think it is gorgeous. So give me a moment. Let me clean off my brushes and we'll get into the deeper shade. Moving into the medium to deep palette. Now, looking at the swatches on my arms, this one has more warmth to it, whereas the fair to medium has more pinkiness to it. And I'm excited to see those side-by-side -side differences. So I'm gonna start off with my Sydney Grace cheek brush. And let's get into this soft blush, which this is supposed to work for medium to deep complexions. So it's very interesting to see that this is quite a soft formula. It is building up a little bit. It gave me more immediate impact than the light to medium gave. But I'm definitely watching some reviews on medium to deep skin tones after this to see because this is like the perfect level of pigmentation on my light medium skin tone. I'm gonna build it up. Very pretty shade. I actually like how it's this pinky peach shade. Gorgeous. BK Beauty A507. Let's get into the super blush. So I did two little dips. So this one I think is gonna definitely show up on those with deeper complexions, but I'm 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 a little unsure about the soft blush formula. But yeah, that was a lot. That's a good shade. And it has a little bit more red berryness in there. Definitely more intensity than the light medium side or fair medium, excuse me. I still like it though. It's working on me very well. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but for paying $75 for it, it's a good thing for me. Let's see how this multi-glow works. I think it's gonna definitely be more of a cheek topper. I mean, I've used this before. It is a cheek topper on me. I don't know why I'm trying to act surprised for you guys. <laughs> so I'm using a Sigma Dream Glow brush and I'm gonna keep it kind of low, but I'm gonna use this to fuse my highlight and my blush together because if you turn, you can see the pinkiness to it. It's not gonna be a highlighter on my skin tone, but it does add a pretty glow. I I would stay away from if you have a lighter skin tone using this on like this area of the cheek because it will emphasize pores if you have pores in that area. But if you keep it back here, it's gonna add a glowy effect to the cheek without emphasizing those pores. So it will still be very, very pretty. And with this Sigma F03, we're gonna get the highlight. Let's see if this works for me. I think it does, honestly. So this palette doesn't scream to me for medium to deep complexions. It definitely is gonna work on medium complexions, but if you have a medium to deep complexion, please share down below if you picked up this palette, if this worked for you. I can see it working, but obviously I can only speak on my own experiences. So I will pin a good helpful comment. If you have a deeper complexion, let me know how this palette worked on you, but this doesn't add a cast or anything. It's a pretty highlight on me. So I'm very happy with this. Honestly, in some ways I might prefer prefer this over the fair to medium, depending on the look that I'm going for. I would say generally every day I'm more likely to reach for the fair to medium, but I'm not put off at all. So let's go ahead and apply this to the eyes, see how this does on this eye. So starting off with the soft blush, should run a little bit peachier. Yes, it definitely is, and it's giving more pigment. Then let's hop into the super blush. This is like an evening cheek palette for me, I would say. And then let's put some on the lower lash line. I'm literally just doing the exact same thing I did on the first eye so that you can see the true differences. Getting into the multi-glow. This is so pretty. Both of them are gorgeous. And then let's finish off with the light shade. You know, on the cheeks, it's not as much of a difference, but definitely on the eyes, you're able to see that difference. But regardless, my makeup looks amazing and glowy and definitely very Charlotte Tilbury-esque. So let me pop on some mascara and we'll compare to some other quads that I have from CT. So I wanted to do some comparisons between the two quads that I do have. I used to have more, but I gave the ones that flattered my mom's skin tone better to her. But it's interesting. I have 
forgot to mention this, but what's different about this quad compared to previous years is it does not contain a bronzer slash contour shade, which I'm not the happiest about because then it's not an all-in-one palette. Like for example, I had to use before applying today the Charlotte Tilbury Powder Bronzer in the shade number one. I used a light shade so it wouldn't really disrupt or change the colors underneath, but I couldn't use a contour that was already in here. So that just means it's another product that you have to carry. It's not that big of a deal. I like that both of the blushes are very different and both of the highlights are very different. I'm very happy with this palette and I'll mention that later in the end. But upon the first impressions of just looking at it, I was like, oh, there's not a bronzer. But in this case, I'm happy because the bronzers that have been in the previous palettes, I haven't been the biggest fan of. I just feel like she hasn't nailed down a good bronzer formula in these quads. So I have this one from two years ago or I don't know more or less this is the light gasm palette there was a deeper one I don't have it it definitely looks the closest to the fair to medium of this year this is the love gasm palette yeah they are not very similar really at all I did do swatch comparisons so I am about to show you and you'll see the highlights and the multi glows compared so the top is the new pillow talk fair to medium and this is the two highlight shades from the Lovegasm palette. So these are the highlights. They're quite close. The Lovegasm palette has more brightness to it and then the Multi Glow is very very similar to what is in the Glowgasm, excuse me not Lovegasm, the Glowgasm palette that I just showed you. So yeah the highlights are definitely similar but there's no blush formulas quite like the one in the Pillow Talk this year but maybe that's something to know. Another one to compare is the Nudegasm face palette and here these are very different this one is more warm this one has two bronzers so while the highlight will probably look similar this has more of a gold turn to it just not the same at all and um, since this year's deep palette has more warmth to it again completely incomparable so if you have this I think you're good however that being said when it comes to cheek palettes because the products are blended out throughout the cheek on a larger area of the face it is harder to tell the difference between colors it's not like on eyes or lips where it's more impactful because they're all sheared out how different can they be let's be honest here that being said I am very happy with both of these palettes I think the formulas that she put in here are are gorgeous. I love the colors that she chose for both. I, I think you get the Charlotte Tilbury effect with these palettes and unlike the previous years where there was like one or two formulas that I felt could be improved, all four of the formulas in here are of quality. So it's a hundred percent of the $75 palette will be used by me. There's not one where I'm like, mm, I could have better. You have beautiful blush formulations and beautiful highlight formulations. You can mix and match. And I, overall, I'm just very, very happy. If you like that Charlotte Tilbury glowy look, you're gonna get it with these. In terms of what color should you get, I mean, definitely if you're fair. Get the fair to medium palette. It's more pinky. The medium to deep has more warmth and punch. And honestly, the medium to deep is going to work for the widest range of skin tones, but it's not always great when I can get the medium deep palette to work so well on me, which is why I definitely want to hear those of you with the deeper complexions thoughts on this deep palette. But overall, in terms of quality, I'm very, very happy with both. If you like what you saw in today's demo, definitely recommend these. I think, even though I'm kind of sad that there's new contour shade, because of how good quality these are, these are probably my favorite quads that she's come out with. I just think they are so beautiful and I love a bright pink cheek, so who am I to complain? So this is definitely a luxury for the holiday season, but I'm very, very happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. I definitely plan on continuing to use these palettes more. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel because I have a lot more holiday makeup reviews coming and I will catch you guys in the next one. I guess have a good one.